Over the last four videos, we discussed the basics of Adobe Spark Video. We talked about how Adobe Spark is actually three different applications. Adobe Spark Post, Adobe Spark Page, and Adobe Spark Video. We talked about how the apps can be downloaded for smartphones and tablets, and we looked at Adobe Spark Video in a web browser where we built the sample project Big Cats. We talked about importing pictures that you've sourced from the web into your Adobe Spark Video project, and we also talked about how we could import video that you have sourced from the web. We talked about voiceover, and we also talked about how to add text to images. We also covered music and importing your own or using Adobe Spark's library. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few other basic things. And then I'm gonna show you how to export this so you can share the video with your professor. Some of the themes, like the ones I've chosen here, will have their own slides, like this one down here called Credits. If I click on this, you can see up here that we could edit this slide. To do that, I'm gonna click up here where it says add your own credits. And I'm just gonna put by Guy Stoyle. And then it says created with work by, and I'll click down here. And because I've sourced video and pictures from the web, I'm gonna give them credit. So, I know I took my video from CNN, and I took my pictures or still images from the black jaguar white tiger foundation. And then I can click out here and I can see that this was by me and is created with work by CNN and black jaguar white tiger foundation. Now I have a completed video and if I want to export it is all I need to do is come up here to download, click on it. Once your video is done prepping for download, this window will appear with the file name that we've selected from the beginning of our project. You can see here, it says Big Cats. Navigate to the location where you want to save this file. In my case, I'm gonna save it to Adobe Spark Tutorial, and I'm gonna click Save. Once your video has been saved, navigate back to the folder where you saved it, you'll find that it's right there in MP4 file format. And if you click on it, it is a standalone this video. It's from the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation. I found it and sourced it from... In this short video series, we've only covered the basics of what Adobe Spark Video can do. I encourage you to play with the software, explore it, and find out all the other cool things it can do. On the end title of each of these videos, I have included my email. If you have questions about Adobe Spark Video or Premiere, email me and I will respond to you as soon as I see it. I check my email every day. So please, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or a question and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope these videos have been helpful for you and that you have fun as you work through your projects.